Friends, hello, I hope you are well. Palantir, Palantir is no longer undervalued and things are changing here in Palantir land and it is getting very expensive to be a part of what is going on over here at Palantir and as Alex Carp says, we have no competitors. Let's break down what's happening here and what we can expect here, probably going towards the end of the year at this point with Palantir. So. Uh, key bullet points right now, things we need to know, you need to know if you're an investor with Palantir or you're thinking about starting a position in them. Um, we have November quarterlies that will be coming up here really before we know it. And these quarterlies, these, you know, we say it's about every quarterly, but these are the ones that are so important right now. These November quarterlies that we are going to see here coming up. Uh, these are going to be very important because these will be the first quarterlies where Palantir is on the SP 500. They now are, you know, they're not undervalued anymore. They have, you know, people are putting out huge potential with them. And most analysts at this point are saying now they're undervalued and they believe the stock will end the year at around $50. And this time next year could be sky's the limit. And of course, there's you know people that are bearish on it but the majority of people right now um you know are are just saying you know palantir in particular is an ai company but it's an ai company that doesn't really it doesn't have a lot of competitors what with the the significant little elements that it's doing so this is really what is intriguing a lot of people to continue to be focused on Palantir. And this is why you're seeing the stock climb so much. There's a, there's a lot of keys why it's growing so much, but these are particular ones. So Alex, if you're catching news right now, and this is kind of scaring a lot of people, so let's go ahead and acknowledge what's going on over here in Alex Carpland. Alex has been busy as of late, obviously giving interviews about Palantir, talking about it. Um, and now he, Alex is starting to unload shares. He's starting to you know, sell some of his shares in Palantir. Now, I, I don't look at this and I, I don't go like, oh my God, he knows something, something's wrong. You know, the, the, something is terrible is about to take place. It's nothing like that. It, this is what CEOs do. I mean, they, they cash out, they take some money. This is almost like a bonus for them. And it's towards the end of the year. And he knows Palantir is at an all time high. And I'm sure he has people that he, cover his finances and are telling him hey you should do this take a little off the top here what you got so many shares it's not gonna hurt you but Alex knows more than not and he just gave interviews it's not like he came out and lied to people telling people like hey Palantir is going places that we have not seen uh, it, it is unstoppable it has no competitors it's going to be a huge company in the next five years more than it is now now we're not saying Palantir is going to be the next Nvidia that's that's a different conversation but to say they're going to be you know in the top running of the next ai run here in the next five ten years in the market i think that's a very very good statement to stand beside right now with what's going on so palantir obviously being at this 37 trying to get to this 38 and hold dollar mark you know th this could be really cheap considering where Palantir could be in six months. Now, obviously, we go into the conversation of, well, how is the market going to sustain these numbers with Palantir? Can the market hold up Palantir? Can Palantir somewhat help hold up the market? I think it's more of that situation with what we're seeing with a lot of these AI stocks. Even if we do see a recession, when we see a market crash here, we see what we're starting to see, a market pullback here. Obviously, these rate cuts are starting to kick in. We're going to see multiple ones, and by this time next, Next year, we should have huge significant rate cuts that have already happened and be pretty down at that point in the market. Hopefully, will not be stagnant and it will be running, hopefully. And get this, Palantir is still grabbing deals. Like that, that's still going on in the background. You know, Palantir is like, oh, by the way, we just got another huge deal. Uh, so that's still going on. But this news with Alex Carp, you know, the CEO with NVIDIA, he's doing this. You know, this is not un usual so i there's a bunch of fear mongering right now going on with people saying like get out of palantir there's a reason they're selling if you've been in the stock market for any time and you've seen stocks have huge run up like this you know you, you've seen ceos do this this is anything terribly unusual in that realm and not to mention my god they just put palantir on the s&p s p 500 do you really think the s p 500 is just going to put any company 
on there, they're going to go through every little tidbit of financial information they can before they put a company on the S&P 500. There's a lot of regulation, a lot of rules that go into that situation. So they've been through all the dirty doors of Palantir and seen what's there, what's been, and what's coming for the next few weeks. Be, be careful for that noise in the background. Don't, don't miss out on opportunities with Palantir just because you hear yapping in the background with people saying, you know, get out and run. I've seen people say that, you know, do what you want to do. You're, you're your own investor. But when there's something good in front of you and it looks too good, sometimes, yeah, it's just good. Think about two, three years ago when people like me, other people were talking about NVIDIA and we were like, man, NVIDIA, this is, it's not going to build. You can't stop NVIDIA. You cannot stop what's going on over here. This company is going to keep going. And there were the same people same people saying the exact same things that they were saying about NVIDIA three years ago that they're saying about Palantir right now. NVIDIA is still running. It's still not going to stop. You should still be buying NVIDIA with what's about to happen over there. But Palantir is very much in this genesis stage of where it's going to be going here in the next five to ten years. And this is why it is key opportunity to make you very rich and possibly to retire you if you can raise enough capital to put in the stock and hold it. Why do you think you're seeing so many YouTubers and now you're starting to see these analysts come out and say like, hey, Palantir is going to be a hundred dollar stock. Palantir is going to be two hundred dollar stock. Palantir, there's pe even people saying really big people on YouTube saying Palantir is going to be a five hundred dollar stock. Why do you think they're saying that? And these pe a lot of people that are saying that have good reputation with what they've called. Um, so I, I will, I'm not going to call it names, but I think with Palantir right now, you, you just need to go, you know, this is a good opportunity. This is something special happening over here. And sometimes things just, they just look good. And that's okay. Because majority of the time in the stock market, things look good, but there's a lot of financial bull crap in the background that it, it, it is troubling, but we're, it's not really there with Palantir. It's just, it's not there. It's not, you're not going to find a lot of it. So the six month chart right now with Palantir is beautiful. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. This is, I, I could take a picture of this chart right now and just hang it up on my wall. It is gorgeous. If you've been a part of this chart for a year now, you should be very proud of yourself. This is fantastic. And look, just back here in April with this chart, I remember, I remember, I hate to go back into this game, but I just, I just want to, I, I want to make you feel comfortable. I remember back in April of this year when people were going, it's not going to hold $20. There's no way Palantir is going to $30. It's going back to $7. It didn't happen. You know why that didn't happen? Because Palantir kept growing because Palantir kept grabbing deals just like it's doing right now. And Palantir is so much more right now than it was last year. Just here back in April when it was at $20. When it was struggling to get to $24. Now, we're about at $40. By December, January, we could be at $50 or more. Those are very real numbers. Friends, if this video does anything to help you out, I hope it just kind of clears out the background noise. When you're investing in the stock market it's so good to have a person to invest with to you know whether you have somebody in your personal life that you can bounce ideas off talk about companies that, that that's such a key and, and positive friendship and relationship you should have with someone very much so and you're not going to agree on everything you're just not and that's okay and that's good but it's you know listen listen to people on youtube i listen to people on youtube i can't do this by myself this is investing is a team effort where you have to you have to listen to negative stuff too just like you know you're listening to negative negative comments where people are saying you know palantir's overvalued but listen everybody on youtube and now all these top analysts and all these firms that are saying majority of them are saying palantir is running more than likely, this is not going to stop anytime soon with Palantir. I don't think they can all be wrong at this point. When you look at what's going on here with Palantir, you start to see that, yeah, this does look too good to be true. So this is opportunity. This is a moment in time where you will look back two years, three years, five years from now, and you'll go, 
I wish I wouldn't have listened to people. I wish I would have just kept pushing money into this. I really think that's where a lot of people are going to miss out. They're going to listen to the, the, the background sound right now with what's going on. So, obviously, I listen, What the news out there with Palantir, it's out there. You can I put some stuff up here. The chart looks great. The chart's not going to stop. It's going to keep going. Even if Palantir falls back down to a $32 range, $30 range, it's going to start to get bought up again. I hope it goes to a $30 range because I want to buy more of it. I'm not worried about buying Palantir at $30 right now. I'm not worried about buying Palantir at $40 right now because I know Palantir is going to keep running here. It's not stopping. It's not stopping. And that's what's going to make the value of it go up significantly. Not only that, it's the fact that we're going to hit another bull run in this market along with another AI bull market run. And FOMO will kick in and people will go, well, I don't want to miss out. And they're going to buy Palantir ungodly amounts of money. They did it with all these other AI stocks. They did it with all of them. We watched them. Friends, I wish you all the best of luck. Think about where you want to be with Palantir. This is a moment in time where it could change your life. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.